there. I'm Kay Byfield, and this is your Art Speak Studio Moment. I often tell people that unlike so many other things, art waits for you. And what I mean by that is that unlike other possible interests you might decide you have, you can take up art at any age. And the reason is because you can take great pleasure in learning to draw, understanding shapes, understanding colors, learning to apply paint. All of those things are possible right up until the end of your life. If you want to stretch your brain a bit, learn to do something new, begin to understand color, express yourself, art is there. And it's waiting for you when you're ready for it. As an example, I would like to introduce you to my stepfather, Jerry. Jerry lives in a retirement home near where I live, and Jerry told me a few months ago that he would like to learn how to draw. And he asked me for a drawing instruction book and some drawing materials since he was locked down. So I got him the materials, and Jerry has been very busy. He's making great progress, learning how to use colored pencils and learning how to draw and learning how to see shapes in ways that he had never tried before. So you recently started drawing and you're almost 91 years old. What, what got you interested in starting to draw? Well, I, I needed uh, something to do here when I, in the, locked in here with the virus and uh, I just wanted to do something and I I know that you're a watercolor painter and I kind of watched you do stuff and anyway this is a my first drawing self-portrait I got a mirror there and looked in the mirror I'm not too happy with this but that's my first drawing that's terrific this is the bird that I've been working on uh, off of a calendar. Yeah, I got a, uh, 120 different ch colored pencils. Wow. The, the reserve uh, furnishes these adult coloring things, and so I've been doing some of those. The ladies seem to love the colors, and uh, I uh, once in a while I hang them on my door. <laughs> it's true. Art does wait for you. Former President George W. Bush says that it was Winston Churchill's book, Painting as a Pastime, that inspired him to take up painting himself in 2012. Since then, he's received a lot of instruction and painted lots of paintings. Bush says that it was because he wanted to take up something new after he left the White House. But what was it that got him to start learning how to use brushes, acquire all the art materials, get in touch with some teachers, and turn his man cave into an art studio. There are several points to Churchill's book. He believes that people who are in positions of responsibility with high levels of stress need to have hobbies that engage the mind in ways that are outside of their normal experience. He suggests that learning another language well enough to be able to comfortably read books in that language is one option. The problem with reading is that it's too close to the ordinary activities of the brain for most of these high stress people, so it doesn't offer much relief from other stressful activities. Instead, he suggests taking up a handicraft like woodworking, bookbinding, or even bricklaying but says that the best of all, and the easiest, is sketching and painting. Churchill says that painting is special because unlike so many other things that we think we would like to do, we can take up art anytime we feel the urge and we can make wonderful things that will be pleasurable to us, meaningful to the people that are around us, and we can continue to do that throughout our entire lives. That's why I say art waits for you. Churchill says, 
Happy are the painters, for they shall not be lonely. Light and color, peace and hope, will keep them company in the end, or almost to the end of life. I know people who are painting into their 80s, 90s, and 100. In fact, I know wonder, one wonderful painter who was teaching until she was almost 100 years old and continued to make art for another two years. She's only very recently at, an, at 103 gotten to the place where she no longer is making art. When Churchill took up painting at the age of 40, he was in the middle of an extremely intense time in his political career. He wasn't discouraged by his clumsy results because he knew that you have to start somewhere and you cannot be good at something that you've never attempted in the past. But he found himself absorbed by the delights of applying the paint and seeing what the new possibilities were and challenging himself to acquire new skills. He wrote his book as a way of encouraging other people to make the same kinds of discoveries that he had made. Churchill continued to be engrossed by painting for the next 48 years of his life and told everyone he met how wonderful it was. He passed it on He's influenced other people, including George Bush. And I'm hoping that this video and Churchill and George Bush will influence you. Churchill cautioned that people who take up painting as an advocation later in life should not be too ambitious and shouldn't aspire to masterpieces. But that painting is a joy ride and having the audacity to try it is the ticket. I disagree a bit here. I think that someone who takes up painting at middle age or later can become very competent because I've seen it. And the goal is to focus on doing it and learning from it and being open to all the possibilities. I see it all the time and my classes are populated by adults who want to take up painting again or just begin now for the first time. It isn't ever too late to start. Lots of people begin painting after becoming successful in other careers. And like Churchill, many of them have been very successful but have very stressful jobs. And they hope that that painting will help to relax them. Once they relax and realize that the failures of painting are not like those of other endeavors. There is no real cost except to your ego. And if you learn and you grow in your painting, then you should feel successful regardless of what the painting itself looks like. Because it's a cliche, but it's true that painting is about the journey, not about the product. Churchill and Bush are not the only celebrities who paint. We can all name other famous people who paint on the side. Some of them are quite good, but the low barriers to participation in terms of cost mean that painting is not just for the rich and powerful. If you've ever wondered whether you should take up making art, Winston Churchill, George Bush, and my stepfather, Jerry, suggest that you give it a try. It's very rewarding. For now, this is Kay Byfield. This is your Art Speaks moment and happy painting.